guys. Welcome back. Today we're going to do Pisces person. We're going to get what your person's thinking, feeling, what's going to be going on with your person, any challenges you might be having, anything that might be affecting it, and things like that, okay? Universe, spirits, gods, and angels, please give Pisces the messages they need to know for their person. I have already pre-shuffled these pretty good today. Really quickly, I just want to thank you guys so much for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. Also, want to say thank you for anyone who has pressed that subscribe button. Your support, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Universe, spirits, gods, and angels. Please give us the messages Pisces needs to know. A few more shuffles and we're going to go ahead and get straight in, guys. If you're new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We will do Pisces-focused readings. I should be uploading about every other day. You can check the description box down below and I should have a full outline of what videos will come out and what day. All right, let's get into it. All right, for the present moment universe, what's going on with Pisces person for the present moment? Chariot, Cancer energy. What is the challenge? What's the challenge? We have the three of air. So right off the bat, there is some sort of disappointment and someone is moving forward from that disappointment. So this is going to be your person. For some reason, your person is very disappointed, disappointed or sad. I did have the Seven of Cups flip in the deck. You could be leaving your options open, which is leaving your person very sad. You could be having multiple options and not wanting to make a decision, which also could be leading your person to feeling sad. But I feel like with the chariot in the present moment, this situation is going to move forward. We will just have to dig in more to see if that is a positive direction or a negative. Okay. <clears throat> so, universe, what was going on in this situation in the past? Maybe we can dig more into this three of air. Messenger of fire. Page of fire. So, I feel like someone in this situation is letting their sexual energy drive them, whether this be you or them. But I feel like that's the challenge is this situation is someone is sexually driven instead of using their emotions and what can emotionally fulfill them. Someone could have also been a player in the past or kept their options open with multiple people. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but not necessarily. This person could also be younger than you with the page of fire here. What's the page of fire here, universe? High priestess, nine of earth. I feel like someone had to use their intuition on what was going on. You could possibly not have known this, but you used your intuition to know what was happening behind closed doors, behind the scenes. <clears throat> All right, universe, give us the future. What is going to be the immediate future? And these popped out, so obviously we need these. We have seven of earth, messenger of water. I feel like someone is going to bring in a love offer, and they're going to want to work on this. They're wanting, they're going to want to put in the work to get those abundant rewards. I feel like they're ready to tame those demons that they feel that they have. Universe, what's this messenger of water? Ace of water, eight of fire. Absolutely. You're definitely going to get some sort of communication coming in from this person. They really, they really love you. They really want to bring this offer to you and give you. I heard their only cup. I'm not sure if that's significant to you. Strength. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with, or you could have had to have strength to get to this point. But I do feel like this um, situation is transforming. 
I have five of air, four of earth on the bottom. I feel like this is going to be possibly your emotions when they come in. So, again, for a recap, this could have been like a player type energy or someone who has cheated on you or something of that sort, put you in a situation where you weren't, was not comfortable. And now they're coming back in wanting to offer you that cup. But with the five of air on the bottom and the four of earth that I just seen, it's showing that you're going to be very guarded towards this offer. And you're really going to be conflicted. I feel like you're not really going to be sure on what direction to go in. Because what I just heard in my head is if they love me, they wouldn't treat me this way. Queen of Fire, Four of Earth on the bottom. Again, I feel like you could be very guarded or someone in this situation could be very guarded for this offer of love. Wondering if it is actually an offer in their favor. All right, universe. Give us this person's feelings. What is this person's feelings towards Pisces? We kind of want to dig in. Is this person's intentions worth coming into Pisces. We have Queen of Water. I feel like this person's really tapped into the love that they have for you. They're trying to use their intuition and they are truly realizing that you're the person for them. They're wanting to love you like you've wanted to be loved. Three of Earth and the Star. Yeah, again, I feel like they're really wanting to put in this hard work. And I feel like they know if they put in this hard work, they're going to get everything that they're wishing for. I feel like you put in the hard work in the past. And now they're going to have to do all of that effort. And they're really hoping it's going to work out in their favor. We have Hermit and Two of Water on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Two of Water. My goodness. And Hermit. So they're really reflecting on how you are their person. I don't know exactly what happened in this situation. I feel like you could have walked away. Even though we don't have the Ten of Air. I feel like you could have walked away and this made this, made this person realize what you truly meant to them. And that you are their person. And the way that they have been acting is not working to their benefit. I feel like they're praying and hoping that you will take this offer and put in the work with them. But I, I'm just not sure if you feel like it's coming from an actual caring place or if they're just being selfish. Two of fire on the bottom. Which means there's a direction that's going to need to be chose here. There's two paths that you can go down. Now you just have to choose what path. A little bit more on how this person feels for Pisces. Let's get a different deck. I feel like we've really ran that one in the ground. A few more cards on how this person feels for Pisces. I just seen the Four of Wands. I feel like you're, you're a stability for this person. You're a main source of stability. I feel like this person feels like you're their foundation. And without you, everything is going to crumble. You're everything that they need and want. Universe, give us a few more cards for this person. What is this person thinking, feeling for Pisces? What is this person thinking and feeling for Pisces? I have temperance, guys, that just fell out on the floor. Let me get it. So, I feel like this person feels like if they continue to be patient with you, it is going to work to their benefit. I feel like <clears throat> there's a lot at the end of the tunnel for them. They see the rainbow in the situation. They know that you guys can make it work. They know that you guys love each other. Uncompared to most of the people that have been in and out of your life justice they're willing to balance those scales now and give you what you deserve because they see your worth they're at a point where they understand that they can never find anyone like you again eight of swords they've been thinking about this a lot this has stayed on yeah a lot of reflection they've been thinking about the way that they feel of you um and i feel like it's really threw them for a loop i don't think they expected this Mainly because of the way that they were in the past. It's kind of like you made your bed. Now you have to lay in it. But they're like, wait a minute. I didn't realize you meant that much to me. Oh, crap. So now did I ruin it all? That's what I'm kind of feeling from this reading. Yeah. They're definitely going to bring in a... 
a, an offer to you. All right, universe. What factors do we have affecting Pisces in this person? What factors do we have affecting Page of Cups? This could be someone that was in your relationship or children that are involved. The sign could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, the factors that are affecting you, it could be either someone that is younger in the situation. I have High Priest and Empress on the bottom. It also could be a baby mama, baby daddy, something of that sort, someone that they have a child with that could be affecting and putting a ripple into this situation. Page of Cups, universe, Page of Cups. Yeah, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles. It could be a child that you possibly didn't know about or something that you didn't know about that come in that ended up leading to complete disappointment. I have Three of Cups on the bottom. I don't want to jump to third party just because Three of Cups is here. It could mean celebration. But with the heartbreak here, I'm getting the feeling that there was someone or something involved. You found out through a message of some sort, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, iMessage, anything of that sort. And it could have possibly been a child with someone. Or they could possibly have a child with someone. <clears throat> Universe, what else is going on with this person? Give us some more external influences for this relationship. Yeah, we have Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands. I feel like you, and I feel like this is you. Although you are a Pisces, I feel like you're keeping the Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like you're stable, you're grounded, you're trying to stay on your throne and keep everything balanced, everything going. I feel like you feel you had to work your butt off for wish fulfillment and I don't feel like you got it. I feel like you constantly felt like you were having to work for something when someone was working against you. Like your guard and your defenses were constantly up. Yeah. Universe. Give us a few more messages for this. I get a lot of baby vibes from this. And I would never get baby vibes. There's even like a... That's not a full-size deer. That's not like a grown deer in here. <clears throat> we have the hermit and the sun. So, I feel like these external influences, things are brought to light, and I feel like everything's going to clear up. In five to ten years, everything's going to... You're going to look back and be like, I'm really glad everything happened the way that it did. I feel like there's a lot of reflection on this right now. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but I feel like the worst part is that you truly didn't expect this, which is okay. Um, but at the end of the day, you are going to get the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. I just feel like there has to be some healing from this situation. Pisces is person's hope or fear. They're hoping you guys will have the strength to push through this. They know that everything's crumbling right now and everything's literally to shit. And I hate to cuss. I apologize. But that's how they feel. And they feel like if you guys can get through this, everything's going to be fine. But they're not sure if you can get through this. They're hoping they can continue to use their logical stance. Keep the passion out of it. Try not to put too much emotion into it. And put in the work. And it's going to end up getting there for them. Um, I feel like this is also a hope for them. But I did just have the Five of Swords flip over. But I feel like they are scared that they're going to put in all this work. And it's not going to work to their benefit. Kind of like a lost cause. You are viewed to them as the empress, which is a beautiful energy. 
um, you're sitting on your throne. They will come to you. You don't have to come to them. This is also Taurus energy, King of Swords. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like they do want to put in the work with you. They truly, truly hope. They feel like you guys are divine counterparts and they truly feel like you guys can make it through this. They want to put in that work with you, but they do know there's a lot of burdens in this relationship and they're really not sure if you guys are going to be able to push through and get to that end goal that they see. Yeah, we have, okay, so under the deck, we have Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. They're scared that you're going to walk away from their cup of love. They're terrified. Um, I don't feel like this is liar, cheater, thief. I feel like a lot of it is that they're scared that they're going to lose you. And it's absolutely possible. They could lose you. But they're truly ready to give you. I think they're ready to give you everything that you've wanted the whole time. But it's like, why do I have to get to this point for you to give me what I wanted? Like, come on, dude. Woman. Whoever we're talking about. Universe, spirits, guides, and angels. Give us the outcome for Pisces. What's the outcome for this situation? What's going to happen for Pisces in this situation? I've seen the King of Fire and Five of Cups. Yep, Five of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So, just based off this energy, I'm getting the energy that you're more than likely going to walk away and not be willing to put in the work with this person. It's kind of like, you snooze, you lose. Tub TV said the kitty. I don't really care. Yep. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're working on your abundance. You're working on building your stockpile, building your, building your money. That is your focus. And I feel like a lot of it's because of this person and what they did to you. Yeah, definitely endings, new beginnings. You're making choices to go in the direction that you want to go, the direction that you deserve. You could have been meditating a lot, which I feel has helped to make this decision to know what direction's best to go for you. But you've truly decided that being single is where you need to be in this situation and that this person doesn't really deserve much more from you. I did see the Ten of Swords coming in in the um, last deck. So I feel like there's definitely going to be some endings. But I do feel like this person's going to be coming in within the next few weeks to try to pacify this back up is what I'm feeling. I feel like they truly, truly, truly care about you. Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like they truly, truly, truly care about you, but it's one of those they care once they realize what they lost and then everything started coming up. This person does feel like you have options, a ton of options, which I feel like is leaving them in a conflict state. Um, to you, this is amazing, but to them, it's like, wait a dabble a minute. You were mine. Now you're paying attention to other people. Yeah, I get I did wrong, but in the same sense, you're mine. We have Five of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Wands. That jumped out to the side. I feel like you're definitely taking your power back. You're working on your stability and focusing on the celebration that you can get from working hard in your finances. I do feel like you're going to leave them out in the cold. It's kind of like you did to me as I do to you. It is what it is. They left you. You were heartbroken at one point because of this situation. What goes around comes around. And you took that Five of Pentacles and you're making it into a celebration. You're making it into your stability, into something that you're going to be able to see financially. And it's thanks to them because they put you in a horrible situation to where you had to be like, okay, this is the direction I'm going. I'm done. So I definitely see you leaving this person behind. For sure. You could also be focusing on friends. Again, children underneath the deck. I do feel like there is a child or children affecting this relationship. Which we got that in the reading. There's definite children involved. Unrequited love. There's not enough love to keep this going. And that's what we picked up from the first of it. There's a passion driven 
from this person. And I feel like that's the focus of this reading. I feel like that's how they start their relationships. And that's what got their butt in this mess. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.